Hey Virgo, we're here for your monthly tarot love reading for November 2024. This reading is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any of you lovely cross watchers dealing with a Virgo romantically. I do like to remind you, Virgo, it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, and that's totally okay. You are always welcome here to take what works and leave the rest. Now, if you would like to get a personal tarot rating from me, I do currently offer those through my Etsy shop. The link is just in the description box right below the video in case you are interested in checking that out. So we're going to jump right in today, Virgo, and we're going to see what could be coming towards you for November 2024. What is coming towards my lovely Virgo's first card out today? Beautiful. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of hard work and investment. So basically what this is telling me, Virgo, is that somebody's willing to put in the effort this month. Somebody's willing to put in the work to make your relationship work. Now, this could be somebody brand new coming in who's investing in you and really showing up for you. This could also be the person who you're currently involved with who's starting to make the effort and really starting to show you through their actions this month, Virgo, that they are serious about you and they're showing up for you, they're taking action and they're putting in the effort to really demonstrate their commitment to this connection. Tell me more about what could be coming toward Virgo this month. Wow, this is beautiful. So then we've got the King of Pentacles. This is your energy, by the way, Virgo. So hopefully you're gonna be feeling very strong, very powerful, very confident this month. But I also feel like some of you could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign romantically. So maybe another Virgo, maybe a Taurus, maybe a Capricorn. Regardless of their sign, this is somebody who is very stable and very secure. Somebody who shows up for you, somebody who you can rely on, somebody where you're not having to guess how they feel, you're not having to guess what's going on. They're creating a sense of security within the relationship. Like this is somebody who tends to be your rock. You know when people will say like, they're my rock, they're the person that I can rely on in life. That's the energy of the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is also a really good indicator of somebody who has their life together, somebody who has probably done well financially, somebody who, you know, has a good career, somebody who's established themselves in their life. So it's like really positive energy in that respect. Tell me more about what could be coming toward Virgo. And then we've got the Eight of Swords. Okay, that is very interesting, Virgo, because it's a very different energy than the first two cards. So the first two cards are about security, commitment, somebody investing in you, somebody putting in the hard work. But then the Eight of Swords is kind of interesting because that's a card of self-doubt, anxiety, getting up in our heads. So it's like you've got this beautiful connection, but then there's also this feeling of anxiety and self-doubt that's coming through. I actually want to clarify this Eight of Swords, please. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in November, Four of Cups. I'm gonna get two more cards here and then we're gonna talk about it. Uh, four, okay, Four of Cups, Four of Swords. Let's get one more card here and then we've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is, this is interesting, you guys. I mean, the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords definitely represent a quieter energy, an energy of pulling back, an energy of needing time to think things through. So it kind of feels like somebody here is wanting to move things forward with you this month but there's a little bit of doubt here. And the doubt could be related to timing, like the pacing of the relationship. Are things moving too quickly? Are we ready for this? The Nine of Pentacles is also a card of somebody who, it's a very confident energy, but it's also giving single vibes. Like I almost wonder if there's somebody here for you this month who's really wanting to commit to you. And you're kind of wondering like, are we ready to take the next step? Are we ready for that level of commitment? Some of you might even be thinking, am I ready to give up my single life? Am I ready to be in a committed relationship? And so it's very interesting because I do think that there is someone here who's very stable. Okay, I'm getting an interesting message, you guys. I'm gonna throw it out there, but I just wanna say it's not for everybody. But, uh, okay. What I'm getting is that you're wondering if it's a little bit boring. Okay, bear with me, you guys. So I'm looking at that Eight of Pentacles and I'm looking at that King of Pentacles, Virgo. It is super solid energy, okay? So this is the energy of somebody, like I said, who is stable, secure, shows up for you, 
Like they are solid. They are somebody here where you can rely on this person. And I almost wonder like a little bit here if you're like, but where is the excitement? Is this kind of boring? And what I'm picking up on is, and you can let me know, Virgo, again, take it or leave it. But if you connect with this, definitely feel free to leave me a comment. I kind of feel like you're used to dating people where maybe there's been a lot of fireworks, but it's also been kind of chaotic. You know, maybe you've dated people who the chemistry is really hot, but like they kind of disappear and then you don't really know what's going on and then they show back up and it's on again, off again, and it's really unstable. That's what I'm picking up on. But now you've got this person here who's showing up for you and they're totally stable. They're totally secure. Maybe you're a little bit uncomfortable because you're like, but I'm used to these more kind of flaky, unstable, chaotic dynamics. And here's the thing. Those kind of dynamics can be kind of exciting in a weird way because we don't really know what's going on. So it can create this energy of excitement. But honestly, it's not really excitement. It's, it's usually anxiety, right? So when we're dealing with somebody who's being like really chaotic, not committing, not being clear about their feelings, it can feel in a way like almost exciting because there's chaos in the relationship, but it's not excitement. It's actual anxiety because you don't know where you stand with that person. And so I don't know, you guys, let me know if this connects with you. I kind of feel like this month is giving you an opportunity to really lean into the connection with the person who can give you stability. And maybe some of you, maybe there's even a decision or a choice you need to make this month between two people. And maybe one of the, one of the people is like non-committal. You're not really sure. You can't read their feelings. You, you don't know what they want. And then the other person is just like consistently showing up for you, right? And I just feel if you're resonating with this message here, there's an invitation from the tarot to lean in towards the person who is showing up putting in the hard work, investing in you, and making you feel secure. Now, here's the thing. I think this can be a little bit jarring when we're not used to it. Like if we're used to dating people where there's like chaos and uncertainty, it can feel weird when we just like feel at peace, you know? Because somebody who is secure is not gonna be making us feel anxious usually. They're not gonna be pushing our buttons. It's gonna feel calm and peaceful. And maybe you're like, is that a good thing? Like, where is the chaos? but it's actually a really good thing. It indicates that there's a sense of peace in the relationship. Anyway, I sometimes like go on these tangents. I kind of pick up on something here, Virgo, take it or leave it. But I, I do think you're being encouraged to lean into security this month and to embrace the beautiful feeling of peace and calmness that comes with that kind of a connection. So this, like I said, could be somebody who you're currently with or somebody who you could be choosing to date. It could be new love. But what I wanna do for the rest of the reading is let's look more at this person. We're gonna look at their general energy, what they're feeling, what actions they're taking. I'm gonna look at the same thing for you, Virgo, and then we will look at the potential outcome. So let's kind of dig into this a little bit more. Uh, tell me about this person who's here for Virgo. Okay, beautiful. So Ace of Cups, this is brand new love. So this is basically saying it's new love <laughs> for some of you if you're a single Virgo. Ace of Cups could also be like a brand new emotional experience. So if you're in a relationship, you could find that emotionally things are growing between the two of you this month. The feelings are getting bigger, deeper, all that good stuff. Oh, what is this? And then <laughs> this card literally came jumping out, you guys. You have no idea how much I love this. Okay, so the Four of Wands, my goodness. <sighs> I love it. Okay. Four of Wands is the 1111 card, and it's indicating commitment. This fits, right? I literally spent like the first, I don't know, like eight minutes of this video basically talking about somebody who's stable and secure and who wants to be with you. This is the Four of Wands. So this person is gonna be demonstrating to you through their actions this month, Virgo, that they are serious about a future. And this is why I'm like, I almost feel the message so far for you guys in this reading today is like, move toward the person who's showing up for you, you know? Because I've done this and I've seen many of my friends do this when we were younger, not so much now, but like definitely when I was younger, it's like, you've got the guy who like doesn't text you back and like you don't hear from them. But then when you hang out, it's like there's massive chemistry, but then like, <laughs> you know, they disappear and you've got that person and you're like fixated on them. But then over here, you've got this like really stable person who's like showing up, 
there providing support, being an amazing human. And I just feel like that person is like, hey, Virgo, I'm here for you this month. And they're going to be doing things to really demonstrate that level of commitment and that love that they have for you. And so, yeah, I feel like you're being encouraged to go to that person. Okay. Especially like if you're in a situation where there's a choice, I just feel like you got one person who's being super flaky and you're kind of drawn to them because again, that flaky behavior, unfortunately, it's kind of chaotic and can create the illusion of excitement when I think it's actually just anxiety. Um, but then you've got this other person who's like stable and it's like, look, look over there. <laughs> That's what I feel. Uh, tell me more about this person, please. I love it. I'm in love with this person. Oh my goodness. Uh, three of Pentacles. Beautiful. I always say to you, this is the card of finding somebody who is your lover and your best friend. Look at this. Look at the support this person is giving. They've got your back. This is someone who's always going to have your back, Virgo. Somebody who is showing up stable, secure, solid. They're going to be for, there for you in the hard moments of life. They're going to show up for you when you need them. You're not going to be like going through a tough moment and looking around wondering where they are. They're going to be here for you. Wow. So let's see what they could be feeling this month, okay? The world, beautiful. The world card is about happiness, fulfillment, satisfaction. So how are they feeling with you? Happy, fulfilled, <laughs> satisfied, right? I think that they also hope to bring that same level of happiness and fulfillment into your life, Virgo. And maybe they're taking you on a trip with the world. I don't know. They want to show you the world. They want to make you happy. Tell me more about what they could be feeling. The emperor, beautiful, okay? So we got this Aries energy, which is very confident, very uh, self-assured energy. How is this person feeling? Completely confident in their feelings. Like I said, Virgo, this is not someone who's like wishy-washy trying to figure out, do they like you? They like you a lot, okay? And they are confident in that. Tell me what else they could be feeling here. And then we've got the hermit. They're a deep thinker. This is Virgo energy, by the way. They are a deep thinker. They are introspective. And I think they are incredibly thoughtful in their decision making. Uh, like this is this is A plus vibes for your person so far. Okay. Let's see what actions they could be taking this month, please. The star, beautiful, Aquarian energy. Okay. This is a very hopeful and optimistic energy. So I think that they're feeling very hopeful and optimistic about your connection and really just like moving things forward. The star is also a card of emotional healing. So if there's anything that they need to heal, it definitely looks like they're working on that this month. Tell me more about what actions they could be taking. Page of Swords, talking to you, getting to know you more, asking a lot of questions and generally just being very curious about you, Virgo. Tell me more, please. We'll get one more card for what actions they're taking and then the page of wands. <laughs> Their energy is so nice. If you go back to the start of when I was pulling cards for your person, if you're familiar with the tarot, you know that all the cards that we pulled for them are really, really nice energy. Page of wands is fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's a very fun, flirty energy, having fun, wanting to just go on cool dates together, enjoying each other's company. And here's the thing, you guys. Okay, because you know how I was saying like at the start of your reading where I'm like, this person is stable and you're like, are they, are they a little boring? And it's not that they're boring. It's just that there's a calm and a sense of peace in the relationship because they're not messing with you, right? But I feel like the Page of Wands is saying like, look, the sparks are going to be flying though. Like they're definitely doing things here to really show you the passion. So it's not just about the stability that they're bringing into your life, but it's definitely also about that passion that they're creating with you. And I see that they're actively going to be doing things to create that passion this month. Okay. So let's look at you, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo for November, 2024, 10 of cups. Beautiful. I mean, this is basically saying you're looking for happily ever after. So that's amazing. You're looking for somebody to build a life with, maybe build a family with. Tell me more, please. And then Ace of Pentacles. Lovely. That's gorgeous, you guys. You just want to be loyal and committed to your person. You want to be in love. You want to be emotionally fulfilled and you want to be committed to each other. That's definitely what your heart is open for this month. So like I said, you know, go toward the person who can give you that. Go toward the person who can offer you that, okay? I feel for some of you, again, I don't think it's for everyone, Virgo. I just feel for some of you watching this video, 
I'm getting the words like super flake. Like, I just think there's someone potentially in the mix this month who's just super flaky. And it's like, your job this month is to be like, can they give me this? Oh no, I need to go towards the person who can actually give me this, right? Uh, let's get one more card for Virgo's overall energy and then the seven, <laughs> seven of cups. I should have pulled this card before I said what I just said. Okay, you know what the seven of cups is. It's a card of being confused and having options. Now, let's break it down. Uh, if you're familiar with the, there's a tarot deck called the Rider Weight Tarot. It's kind of like a popular deck that people learn how to read tarot on. Anyway, in that deck, the Seven of Cups shows a card with seven cups, and in each cup, there's different things. So the Seven of Cups, it often has things that are good for us and things that are bad for us. And it's almost like with the Seven of Cups, we need to see past the illusion to see the truth of what is actually good for us, because it's almost a little bit of that energy of like being led into temptation with the seven of cups, right? So, and I wonder if that's the super flake that I was talking about just a moment ago where I'm like, it's easy to kind of get tempted by that person because it probably feels, I'm gonna say exciting. I'm putting that in quotes because I, I really think it's just anxiety provoking, but it feels exciting. But then you've got this, uh, this other person who's actually really solid and stable. And the seven of cups is like, be aware of illusions because Again, if you're familiar with the Rider weight, you know some of those cups don't have good things. And I'm not saying, I just wanna be clear, this person who's flaky, I'm not saying they're a bad person at all, Virgo. I'm just saying like, find the person who can give you what you want. If they're not ready for commitment, that's okay, that's their choice. But if you're looking for this, don't give your heart to the person who's a super flaky person who, who doesn't want the same thing as you. That's all I'm saying, food for thought. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here what you could be feeling this month. Tell me please for Virgo, eight of wands, good. You just wanna move forward. You might have something important to say to your person. You're definitely wanting to keep the momentum going. Tell me more, eight of cups, yes. I do think you're gonna to have to walk away from something or someone this month, Virgo. Like, I feel maybe some of you have been holding out hope that somebody who you've had like a casual acquaintance with is gonna turn around and wanna commit. Look. I know this is like the basis of like fairy tale movies. It's like the emotionally unavailable person who never commits all of a sudden wants to commit and like be with their person. Like, I'm not saying it can't happen. It's just, you know, it doesn't actually happen a lot of the time. I know this through experience with like friends and everything, you know, it's like somebody who's super flaky and not wanting to commit. It's not even about you, Virgo. It's about them and what they're ready for usually those people don't turn it around overnight and all of a sudden want a serious commitment. But I think there's always this desire to want to be the one that finally gets them to commit. And I just feel like some of you have been holding out hope for somebody who is non-committal. And you know, that's your choice. I mean, do what you want to do. I'm not here to tell you guys what to do, but I feel there's someone better here and better in the sense of like, they want the same thing as you. Better in the sense of they're going to show up for you. You're not like, gonna have to make them want commitment. They want it, right? And so I feel like this is indicating with the Eight of Cups that you're realizing maybe there's someone or something that you have to finally walk away from because they just can't give you what you want. And maybe even over the past couple months, you've been like fixated on this person, but they haven't been showing up. They're giving you breadcrumbs. They're not like demonstrating that interest in you. And now this month is presenting an opportunity to be with someone who's actually showing up for you. And I just feel like the tarot is saying like them, go to that person, <laughs> go to the secure person. Uh, tell me more please. And then the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Uh, so the Knight of Wands is basically fire, passion. I, I think here's what I think is going to happen. I think you're going to get together with this stable person. And at first you're going to feel a little bit weird about it. Cause you're like, this just feels steady and calm and stable. And you're gonna be like, is that kind of boring? But then as you get to know them more, I really think the passion is gonna take off. Like it's one of those slow burn kind of energies where at first you're like, I'm used to fireworks on the first date. I don't know if this connection is the kind of connection where you feel fireworks on the first date. Cause like I said, this is a very stable energy, but I feel like the more dates that you go on with this person and the more you get to know them, you're gonna like really start to feel the attraction to them 
Because let me tell you, Virgo, there is something very attractive about a person who is steady and stable and knows what they want. So I guess I'm kind of saying like, don't go into this thinking the first week is gonna be insane off the charts, like fireworks between you and this person, but like trust, you're, you're gonna be very attracted to this person. That's what I see, okay? Tell me what actions Virgo could be taking this month, five of cups, yeah. Letting go of the person who constantly disappoint you and let you down. I really think you guys got to release somebody this month. Uh, tell me more, please. The Knight of Swords, yeah. And move forward. Stop focusing on the person who can't give you what you want and focus on the person who can. Charge toward that person with the Knight of Swords. Tell me more, please. And then the Seven of Swords. And please, please do not self-sabotage yourself, my loves. Okay? <laughs> with the Seven of Swords. Um... I feel like the Seven of Swords, it's a tricky energy. You guys know that. It's the Thief of the Tarot. So I, I, I kind of, I'm going to say it. I kind of want to say don't get tricked into being with the wrong person. I don't think anyone's tricking you here, by the way. I don't think there's like malicious intent. I just think some of you are dealing with somebody where they just can't give you what you want, but you've been kind of like obsessed with them. And I feel like the Tarot is like, there, there is somebody way better here. So you know, obviously, again, at the end of the day, do what you want, be with who you want to be with, but be mindful of not self-sabotaging. Because to me, this is, this is not a tarot thing. This is just me thinking about what I see here. You know, it's almost like we have a choice, right? You can choose to be with somebody who's going to show up for you, or you can choose to be with someone who's not going to show up for you. And I think you're being invited to like break a pattern here maybe, like maybe this is a thing you do where you're like, I want a relationship, but then you constantly choose people who can't give you a relationship, right? This is a pattern a lot of people have and that's okay, but it's like this month might be a wake up call for you, Virgo, where you're like, I don't wanna fall into that pattern again because it just leads me to self-sabotage. It just leads me to heartbreak when I end up with these people who can't commit. I just feel like the universe is presenting you with somebody who's like really solid but for some of you, again, not all of you, but for some of you, you might have to let go of the like flaky unavailable person and just make peace with the fact that they're not your person, but there is somebody actually showing up for you who is. Anyway, take it or leave it as always, Virgo. Let's see what the potential outcome is here within this situation, okay? Three of swords, that's interesting. We're gonna pull two more. What's the outcome here? Nine of wands. Let's get one more, four of pentacles. Okay, Virgo, you're gonna have to come back at the end of this month and tell me how this all plays out for you. Let's take a look at that. Um, okay, I think, this is, I was kind of hoping this is not where this was going, but uh, it might be, it, I think it's gonna be a big month, you guys. I'm like, how do I put this into words? The outcome here is interesting. We've got the Three of Swords, which is a card of heartbreak. There's the Nine of Wands, which is about feeling tested in love. And then there's the Four of Pentacles, which is like, it's kind of like an unwillingness to let go of what doesn't serve us. And so I feel like what could be happening this month is, like I said, there is somebody here who wants to choose you and show up for you. But I don't think you're going to feel that kind of immediate chemistry that you felt with your other person. Like I said, I think there's another person here who's kind of stringing you along. Again, I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose, Virgo, but I just feel like there's an energy here this month for some of you where you're kind of fixated on this person who's consistently not giving you what you want, but you're not I don't know, the outcome is kind of saying you're maybe not ready to let go of it yet, which again is obviously your choice, right? But it worries me a little bit because the Three of Swords is saying in the outcome, like there's the potential here for something to not work out as you expected. There could be heartbreak if you're continuing to go for the person who's just constantly testing you, but that you feel like you can't let go of. So maybe there's a lesson to be learned this month. So maybe what happens this month is you decide to continue to pursue the person who isn't indicating they're ready for commitment, which is your choice, just be prepared. It might not work out as you expected because it kind of looks like that person's energy is non-committal. I do think there is someone here who's a much more stable, better fit for you, but you have to be feeling it. You have to decide you want to pursue it. You might not. You might decide to like still go after this other person and hope that things can change. 
and you can see what happens. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm a little bit biased because I was looking at this energy and I'm like, I don't know, there's somebody who seems really, really stable here. But as we're getting into it, it kind of looks like, I don't know, you might need a little bit more time to be ready for it. Like maybe this situation with this flaky person is not finished for you yet and you want to keep trying. So maybe you still want to give it a shot. Just be prepared. It might not get you what you want. Overall, I think what the takeaway is for the reading this month is that you're being encouraged to reflect on what you really want. So I'm like trying to think like, how do we wrap this up? Because it feels a little messy. It feels like there could be multiple energies here. There's going to be someone stable, but there's also someone who's like grabbed your attention and energy. But I don't know that they're giving you stability and you kind of have to decide what to do. I feel like maybe the overall message here for this month is like, really get clear on what you want. Because remember, we had that Ten of Cups and we had that Ace of Pentacles for your energy, Virgo. Like when I pulled those cards, I was like, Virgo wants emotional commitment. Virgo wants a life with somebody. Virgo wants loyalty and devotion. And so maybe the big lesson you're learning this month is about like figuring out who can give that to you and what kind of person can give that to you and what kind of qualities you should be looking for. Um, but I do think there is maybe a sense of some unfinished business and somebody here where you're like, they, I just feel like there's still something to explore. So you might be exploring it this month. I just feel um, it might not turn out exactly as you hope, right? So you should be prepared for that. But I think you could be definitely reflecting on some of the patterns that you have in love. And if you're watching this video and you're connecting with this message, maybe you're watching this video to encourage you to think about this pattern right now, because you might have some decisions to make in love this month. And I think at the end of the day, for all of us in any situation, it comes down to our own personal values and what we're looking for. And I just think that, I don't know, I think the seven of cups is significant. It often indicates an illusion. So seven of cups and seven of swords showing up in your energy. It kind of feels like you need to be brutally honest with yourself this month, Virgo, because I think there's a little bit of a risk of being pulled into an illusion and not really seeing the truth of what's happening. And, you know, if you are involved with someone who's being flaky, maybe you're trying to believe they could be better and be different but I think you need to be really honest. Like, are their actions showing that? If their actions are not showing it, then they might not be ready for what you want. So this is interesting, you guys. Like when I was going through the reading, I was like, yes, Virgo is going to choose the stable person. You might not be ready for that, or you just might really not be into that person. And it just feels like you might still be grappling with the situation with somebody who maybe hasn't been showing up the way you want. So I think this month is really going to be you going through that situation and trying to figure out what do I do? Maybe you keep trying with the flaky person and then by the end of the month, you're like, okay, now I feel like I've tried enough and I'm ready to end it. I'm ready to move forward. Um, but it, it feels like you still want to explore that. So that could be what you're doing this month. But I think there's big themes here about you asking yourself, what do you need to feel stable and secure in a relationship? And how do you move towards that? Not just this month, but I think, you know, extending outward and thinking about how you attract that kind of energy. Very interesting. You have to let me know if this connects with you, Virgo. I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated, do me a solid, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you would like to get a personal reading, I do currently offer those through Etsy. The link is in the description box below the video. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.